Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of Time Hops. I am one of your hosts, Scott. And I am alternate host, Greg. Greg, what kind of games are we playing tonight? What's our theme for the week? Um, I don't mean to alarm you, but it's going to be something we know almost nothing about. Sports ball? No, the outdoors, you know. The... Oh, that's where the nature is, right? Yeah, I hear there oh, are the bears. Nature. Bears? They, they smell menstruation, I've been told. Gross. Ah. Oh. But yeah, outdoors. So we're going to play some uh, outdoor games. Okay, so with outdoors, what kind of beer should we drink? Oh, well, we should probably drink beer with a bear on it. This is uh, Anderson Valley Brewing Company's Briny Melon Ghosts. It is 4.2% alcohol by volume and kind of tastes like salty watermelons. Mmm, refreshing and salty. And it has a barrel lope on it. Well, with that... What should we start off with? We're, I'm feeling something handheld, like, that you could... We need a in-between. We need something you could take out with you in nature. I'm thinking of yeah. a handheld. I'm also thinking something that's America's... Uh, one of America's favorite pastimes, murdering animals. Handhelds, murdering animals, and handhelds. I'm thinking Deer Hunter for the Game Boy Color. Kill me. Alrighty, we are here with Deer Hunter for the Game Boy Color. As you can see, it is majestic. And that is yeah. clearly a deer over there. Majestic. I mean, it kind of also looks like it could be a moose. Could be. Or a barrel up. Okay. Okay. So, uh, um, little preface. Are th we've <laughs> never played this game. Mm-hmm. So, um, oh, but that says deer rubbings. They... Deer no markings. Oh, you gotta go where... Oh, oh, see, so deer have okay. been seen here. Okay. I feel like I need uh, a... Uh, I feel like I need one of those orange reflective vests. But I do have a bright blue Dashing Nerd shirt on. So... Uh, comparable. I feel like they would take pity on me and just not shoot me. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go... Where there are markings. Okay. Right there. Go. Uh... I'll pick your weapon. Oh, and use a tree stand. Yep. Now go. Nope. Cool. Yeah, we got to pick new hunt. There we go. Oh, wait, that was right. All right. Okay. Now we figured out we how to, to potentially kill a deer. Oh, no. What are you doing? Okay. Maybe it's a Was go that tree there? <laughs> Maybe that's a deer. <laughs> I don't have much experience with deer. Listen to those animals. Listen to those animals through a Game Boy Advance speaker. I don't see any deer, though. Can you, like, walk forward? No, I think we're in a deer stand. Oh. Just spin in circles. I don't know how hunting. I've never been. I've never. I've never been either. Oh no! I. That's not true. Uh, I went hunting one time. I was five years old, and uh, my friend's parents thought, you know, five years old, it's probably a good idea. Hell to, yeah! Uh, I'm gonna use a track scent. I need some of that for my love life. <laughs> five years old is a great uh, age. Now maybe I was seven. Seven years old is a great age to give someone a gun. Did you know that? Do we? Ah. Oh. Use the magical deer flute. Oh, man. No, th there's no deer there, Scott. Oh. Oh, shit. A deer. Shoot his face. Oh, no. No, we gotta aim away from him so he comes closer to you because he knows you're aiming at him. I, I don't really come in. I can't. I can't get any higher. Now shoot. Oh, you oh, shot him hell dead. hell yeah. Oh, oh. His friend's coming. He's like, no, no, Leon, you shot me. Aw, oh, yeah, four points. Here, your turn. Oh, so I got to go kill one. All right. I got Bambi's mom. It's your turn to do Bambi. Start. All right. Yeah. I want to go hunting somewhere else. I want to go to Arkansas Autumn Woodlands. Nice. I like it in how in part of the country it's fall. <laughs> you mean you you didn't know that we all go through different seasons at once? Amateur. Obviously. 
Is anything happening here? Deer bedding area. Oh, uh, getting it on. Oh, you hit A again. Oh, okay. uh, once you're there. Once I'm in the deer bedding area. Right. Uh, oh no! Uh, wait. Oh, uh, you lost their. No, you, their you, raucous lovemaking has come to an you end. You're you. Yeah. I interrupted. They cleaned up their bedding. Oh, ooh, there's oh, poop. deer poop. Always. Oh, oh. Okay, so I just hit A, A again. Yeah. Go into the poop area. Okay, so you hit press and hold B, and then do left and right. Oh, to do like I can make. And then the one that looks like a person is actually your crosshairs for your gun. <laughs> so how do I use the deer tuba? <laughs> well, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> do I hit A? Uh, you would. It's the deer tuba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's calling them. Okay. And this makes it sound like deer battle. Oh, no, there's a deer! Oh, I'm gonna shoot it right in its face. Oh, yeah. Oh, shot oh, him dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, deer's friend. Whoa. You get one at a time. I got a 12 point. He looks the same as yours, though. That's true. <laughs> they don't know how the point systems work. Okay, so we Also, have... they denote the deer's hobby underneath. That one plays keyboard. So it does. <laughs> I bet... It's a rocket deer <laughs> burning up the trail. <laughs> but, a uh, rocket deer! He looks really... I don't think deer look like that. <laughs> no, I don't... He's smiling. It's like they <laughs> added like really... lips. It's like they added lips. He got taxidermy, and I'm like, just make him look real happy. Just happy to be dead. It's a hip, yep. Man, your your 12 point looks a lot like my 4 point. I don't think they, <laughs> they couldn't afford. Well, they more. had one graphics person, right? They couldn't afford more pixels. It was it's. it's oh, Game I found Boy the Dance. the Love Shack. The deer, the deer love, love Shack. I don't think we can play Love Shack though, because I'm pretty sure the song is copyrighted. Ooh. So you use the deer tuba. It works wonders. Oh, that's... Oh, that's majestic. That's great. That is majestic. That, that, those are the best binoculars. I like, how, I like how they're rounded squares. Like, like elongated. I like how at the bottom it looks like a crab claw coming yeah. out from the ground. Yeah. <coughs> oh, so majestic. I think you should get to shooting them, though. Ooh. Oh, you eating? Oh, are you eating, little deer? Eat this! Oh, eat some lead! Okay, that's good. Oh, you can move the gun up. Slightly. Okay. Oh, another 12 point. We're tied. Okay. I'm up to, okay, I'm at 16. You're at 12. I've shot two. You are up again, sir. This is going to be best of five. No, because we have to shoot the equal amount of deer. It's true. So this is going to be... We'll do five deer apiece. That seems like a lot. Considering... I'm going to go to the Indiana winter. Indiana, where it's winter. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> the, those, and those as they very say, famous Indiana when winters. It's winter in Indiana, it's fall in Arkansas. <laughs> they do say that. They do indeed say that. That is a thing. Okay, I'm going to do deer battle music. That reminds me of the... Um, uh, Ooh, deer battle music. The Klingon... <laughs> like Bad saber club or whatever. Oh, see, he's like, ooh, I don't see oh, any deer. That is a horrible, horrible rendition of Rocket Deer. Who could be? Shit. Okay, hold on. I gotta oh. go back to the deer, the deer material. He's stuck on the stump. Yeah, deer tuba. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, there's two. Can you get two for the present one? No, I don't think I can line up the shot like that. Oh, this isn't oh. Halo. Oh, shot him. Oh, that other one's like, I gotta get out of here. Okay, we'll do, we'll do the best of three. Okay. Oh, that's another 12. I'm at 24 points. You need, like, man, you need a mammoth deer. You need, like, a mutant deer that's, like, walks up to you on its hind legs. No markings, no markings. If I was a mutated deer... Horribly changed by due to science. Where would I be? In a lab, screaming, "Kill me!" 
<laughs> if I was a mutated deer that broke out of the scientific research area, where would I be? Um, well, if Manberry Pig tells us anything, you'd be in a cave. All right. Do you see anything on the horizon? I don't know. I see a lot of the same trees copied over and over I do, again. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, 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 there was one. Go back. Wait. Shh, shh. Be quiet. Shh, 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 shh. I must do the call of the call of the deer. It's too far. I'm gonna kill your parents. It, it disappeared. No, I think you turned. There it is. No, it doesn't save you on the spot. You need to then turn your body because. You turn Whoa. around to Whoa. use... You You're turn sounding around. like you've played this before. You turn around to use the binoculars, but then you readjust yourself to put the binoculars back, and then you have to turn back around. Tree stands ah, are only I think so I got good. him. You just keep shooting. Oh, oh. no. Well, it, it's okay. Okay, well, you We're can not do... all meant to be Wait, Game Boy so Advance was... hunters. You have to not net a deer. <laughs> I have to not kill something. You have to not kill something and we'll game, be tied. On a game where all I have to do is press the A button. <laughs> like, this game literally has no no story mode or anything. It's literally just, you want to kill a deer? Imagination, Greg. You gotta use your imagination. Like, what, like, Bobby, the keyboard playing deer that you shot earlier. <laughs> is a name now. That's good. Bobby's a good name for a keyboard playing deer. I agree. I'm going back to summertime. It's warmer. He performs at uh, piano bars. Oh. In the forest. No, come back. Oh, there's a portal. There's a deer portal. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. The rare and elusive deer portal. Come on, you son of a bitch. Pull out your gun. Oh, no, oh you might be able to nick his... Nick his uh, hand. His leg. Oh, oh, shit. Come on. Oh, let's go. Shh, shh, shh. Ha! Oh, nice. Come on, negative. Like two. Wait. <laughs> negative Come on, point. negative. Wait. Got no head. <laughs> Eight oh, point. Well, well, looks like I'm just the better hunter. <laughs> yeah, you're better at killing cute woodland critters than I am. I feel better about myself. That's <laughs> fine. I mean, you made me play Game Boy Advanced again. Really? Because I thought this was Game Boy Color. Oh, maybe it is. I mean, you made me play Your bloodlust has corrupted your mind. <laughs> anyway, now that we're done with Deer Hunter, what's up next? I think it's your turn to pick. Oh. Oh, yeah, because you picked this horrible game. Um, I think next we will play Fisherman's Bait 2 Big Old Bass. Well, I've never played that one. Sounds like a grand old time. There are some elusive fish in the wild, as we shall see momentarily. Well, <laughs> let's get started. Let's do this. All right, Scott. So we're going to play something that I often played about the outdoors. Oh, interesting choice. Getting a game to play indoors about the outdoors. Interesting. Yeah, this is uh, Fisherman's Bait 2 Big Old Bass made by Konami for the PlayStation 1. Oh, it's about fish. I didn't gather that. <laughs> That's surprising. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to play the mode that's probably the most fun called World Monsters. Um, Ooh, I'm that's a sure. scary background. <laughs> it was meant to incite fear in people. I could see that. I'm not sure if any of the fish in this mode are real. But, um, I mean, you don't really have to try to catch fish in this mode. <clears throat> oh, that's it's rather cool. simple. And uh, Look yeah. at those old Japanese arcade graphics. It's beautiful, the painted on background. It's true. Metal jig, pencil bait, popper. Popper like uh, it's hot. Let's go with the jerk bait. I like be it. a jerk to, to the fish. <laughs> How to use them. Small fish lure made of rubber. When pulled, it moves as if as if transformed. It's a transformer? But it, I'm in Japan. Got to use the transformer uh, lure. Yep. They okay. do like their transforming things. I'm going to go this way. Throw that out there. Ooh, I got a fish. Wow. Ooh, it's, oh, uh, it's, it's purple. It's magical girl pink. It's the Sailor Moon fish. And I love how the guy talks. He's like, come on. 
<laughs> but as you as you press the button, and the thing is, is this is a really good wrist workout because you can't just hold the button; you have to press it repeatedly. Smart. I caught it. What's it called? It's a Fujiyako. Oh no! Oh, it's... I get that Fujiyako though. I don't think it's a real fish. It actually looks like purple carpet. Let's see. It's very peaceful. I like the uh, the Japanese. Uh, can't remember what the name of the instrument is. Put the stringed Ooh. instrument. Ooh, what's this? This is the black whisker fish. Oh. I know this one. It oh, looks oh, like. Oh. Gotta let the tension go down. It's getting oh. a little too tense in here. Too tense. He oh, is. He's gonna break. He is a feisty one. Oh, oh. He must be heavy. I guess, I think, I think that's how fishing works. The heavier the fish, the more tension you get on your line. Well, yeah, there's more weight to pull on the line. Dude, I don't know anything about fish. All I know is that they're delicious. They are pretty good. They are pretty good. Okay, you're like real close, fish. And the music reminds me, remember the lick-a-tongue level in, uh in Pokemon Stadium when you had to run around and eat all the food. Mm -hmm. That's what this racist Japanese music sounds. That's a, oh, sh a shadow assassin. That's a cooler name than Fujiyako. Granted, Fujiyako could stand for something really cool and we just don't know the language. So we must we translate. Know. We'll get back to you on the translation of Fujiyako. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, he got away. Okay, come on, other fish. You know you want this jerk Transformer. Bait. It's a collector's come item. Come on. Scott, have you ever been fishing? Um, When I was in Cub Scouts, we did ice fishing, which really just was tantamount to sitting around a hole in the ice with your friends not doing, not anything. doing anything. Watching the adult struggle. I mean, I might have gone with my grandpa. I don't really remember. I do like fishing. Going outdoors sometimes. I mean, I get sunburnt and don't catch anything. Wow, that's even sm that's a smaller one than the last one you did. Get bit by bugs. Oh man, I'm I'm not a fan of mosquitoes. Oh, there's something over there. I have four seconds. Huh. Oh no! Time up. Well, that was lame. Didn't get anything good. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I can continue. Okay, I'm gonna catch one more fish, and then I'm gonna let you catch some fish. Okay. Come on, come on, fish. You know you want this. You want that jerk bait. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think. I think. Oh, oh, oh. oh that was, that's that one's right by. I just make the dude have a little seizure or something. Oh, see, okay, so there's one. No, I want that one. <laughs> Go that way. He has this rapid fish movements. Look at his rapid fish movement. And everyone was kung fu fishing. Those rocks were fast as there's lightning. A lot, there's a lot of. You know what I've noticed In recording a few day episodes day. of Time Hops? There's a lot of music in <laughs> episodes, but not like good music. It's just us singing random things about the games we're playing. It's a little bit frightening. I thought it was clever coming up with kung fu fishing. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Mm. All right, come on, fish. I have to make it go in a straight line because that's how this jerk bait works, apparently. These stupid jerk fish won't bite it. I got him. Get! Oh, what's this? Oh, that's like Fuji, Fuji, big yaka. Oh, except for it's like super heavy, apparently. It's feisty. Look at it zigzagging. And it came undone. Oh, no. That's why I'm not catching anything. Oh, here we go. Ooh, 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 calm down. Calm down there, big fella. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's so close. It's so close. 
I can almost taste its sweet flesh. Oh, I caught it. How big it's is it? Sweet it filleted flesh. It's a big fish. Get a big one. Ooh. Hey, that's where we are. I think oh, that was, a, that was a game big. fish. That one counts for something. Oh, I'm gonna get that one. I want that one. Interesting. The time goes by very quickly. It does. So it does. Okay. Well, Scott, I think it might be your turn pretty soon to catch a fish. Oh, it's another one. Aww. Aww. I won't even let you catch it. <sighs> you should let the time run out so you can pick a different location. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna catch my fish, you son of a bitch? Yeah. And I trusted you. I'm starting off with a handicap. I hope this fish gets away and murders your family. What are you, are you purposely trying to break the... I, I've never played this game. It could tap X repeatedly. I am. Hey, <laughs> hey, I still caught it. Yeah, you caught my fish. Hey, I brought it in. Okay. It's large. It's not big. Mine was big. We'll get that one. You want the shadows. Really? Yeah. Now what I learned is when a fish latch is on, you need to pull up to hook the fish. That means mm. the little spiky things on the, the bait will It'll catch sink it. it. Right. Will catch its mouth hole. I need a bucket hat. This is what you need, so we should have gotten like fishing stuff. Like I need a bucket hat. Uh huh. Well, that, it, so what I also learned is the bait should probably stay in the water. Your your rod ain't doing so hot there. Are you gonna? Oh oh oh! You got one. It's another one of those things. Fish, fish guy. Ooh, he's, he's very, oh no. Come on. Come on, big fish. So what's cool about this game is you can catch, like, in monsters mode, you can catch, like, T-Rexes. What? Yeah, you beat these two, like, levels. You beat this one in the USA, it unlocks a couple more levels. Interesting. Up until where you're... You're like fishing in an apocalyptic <laughs> version of the United States. So, like, six months from now. Yeah, hopefully when we're not all dead and still have electricity. Look yeah. at it jumping out of the water, it's so adorable. Except for it's not supposed to do that. You keep it in the water where the fish are. Fish jump? Yeah, but... I mean, not that excessively, generally. Maybe we should go to a different level. Well, you're the fishing master, so I think I think now would be a great time to go to our mystery game. Oh, because I just slayed you in fishing. Yeah, and hunting. <laughs> I'm clearly the better you're outdoorsman. The, you're the better. You are so far the... Far superior indoor. I'm an indoor outdoorsman. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, we're going to switch it up now to our mystery game for the week. Mystery game. <gasps> Alrighty. <laughs> well, we picked this game simply for the name Antarctic Adventure because, as I know it, okay. the Antarctic is outside and it appears to be a penguin racing game. <laughs> it's like ski free with a penguin. By Konami. Or, also, Konami. Right? I mean, we... In 1985. And it is, uh... I'm not sure if this was ever released in the United States. But, apparently, you're a... A wee penguin. Oh, look! Oh. How cute! Okay, so I guess the point is to probably catch the fish and avoid the holes. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still on there! 
Okay. This game is just so adorable. Listen to the, the music. Oh, it's a friendly little si oh, uh oh, global warming. <laughs> oh, shit. Global warming. <laughs> oh, at least this penguin has some ice. I feel bad for the future animals. This game is probably... Hi, see you. A telltale sign of things to come. This penguin is running for his life as holes <laughs> melt in the ice caps. Right. Very sharp corner geometric holes. That's what happens. The earth is just a simulation. <laughs> okay, so... There's... 425 kilometers left. Oh, in this level. Oh, okay. Why, you, why is it making bomb noises? There's, there's time. I need to, There's something with time. I think that's why you're supposed to catch the fish. The fish might give you more time. But I, I couldn't catch the or fish. Or the fish speed you up. Maybe. Let's go to level two. Let's see what level two is. It's just going to be harder. We don't know that. It's got more... Pitch. Are we trying... Are we a penguin trying to run across? Around Antarctica. Whoa! Look at my speed. Oh, okay, so this... Oh. Oh, see? Oh. You hit a hole, now you go slower. So the fish might speed you up. Okay, I just ate a fish, and it did not speed me up. Well, you ate one fish. Oh, oh. that sped you up. Oh, look how cute his little arms are. Okay, so it's like the longer... Oh. Okay, so the longer you don't get hit, or like... You land don't on something, jump? the better your speed is. Right. Okay. And then okay. fish and... And kind of like flags. Okay, no, I just have to hit up to speed up. <laughs> oh, or it's that easy. The fish probably give you a better score. That yeah, would make... You are not hey. very good at this. But hey. this is your first time being a penguin. It's true. I mean, the life of a penguin currently with the present administration is going Man. to get ever increasingly difficult. Okay, we have to book it now. You do have to book it. Okay, go little penguin, go! Run for freedom! Oh, oh nuts. Here, here's the thing. This game has zero backstory. Um, it also is just basically a penguin running. So, uh, I'm not sure we should read too much into it. No! It's kind of like Dark Souls, where you have to, like, look into the game to really find the story. While well, you're getting your head bashed in? Right. Oh, oh, look at those clutch jumps. <laughs> clutch jumps. Little, little penguin jumps. Oh, you have your helicopter hat. <laughs> you're That's impervious to holes now. Freaking hilarious. That's not the first time I've been told I'm impervious to holes. Giggity. Oh, <laughs> good, nice! Good pickup of the hat with those uh, those those holes in the glacier. Oh no! Uh, don't worry, you still have 20 seconds and only like 100 kilometers left. Oh no! Not seal friend! You've betrayed me, seal friend! Damn it, seal! Watch this one be the USA. No. Watch this. USA. UK. Australia again? They already got one. Are the different countries maybe like scores? I don't know, but that was th three levels. Now we go back to level one? No, I think... No, you're on stage four. Guys, this game was not what I thought it was going to be. No. we. I thought we were going to be adventuring we, um, through the Antarctic. Yeah. Now, now we, we almost also say that we don't play test our games before we pick them. We really just go off the cuff by things that sound interesting. Yeah, and Antarctic Adventures, I'm like, we're doing outdoor games. I'm pretty sure Antarctic Adventures Antarctic. is going to be about the outdoors. Right. Now, it is, but <laughs> the caveat is That's, I am now a see, penguin. This is why it's a perfect mystery game. It was a mystery to us, too. I mean, to be fair, before today, I don't think I'd ever played Deer Hunter on the Game Boy Color. Oh, no. Oh, you have to go to the side, man. Get, get your oh. little fat penguin ass out of no. the hole. Oh, man. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna make it still, though. I mean, this is like... You're in another bad global warming area. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Get out of the way, Mr. Seal. I've got a, I've got a base to oh, discover. Man. Oh, man. I'm not even worried about score at this point. I'm worried about getting to the base alive. Okay, you got... 
11 seconds left, but you're in the home stretch, so you okay, good. I you're good. It. I got this. You're good. Guys, I am way too good at this game. You are a master Antarctic. Uh, New Zealand? I don't. I don't get it. New Zealand was a country in 1985? <laughs> I thought New Zealand was still part of Australia. No. Say, oh, you should have saved it. I don't think you can. I think it goes regardless. I think it just runs out if you don't use it. I feel like you're purposely going for the giant holes. No, uh, I, there's a little bit of drift. He drifts left. He's like slightly drunk. But I'm like trying to collect stuff. You know, because this game, this game would be you... amazing for Nergeneering to see just how fast the penguin's running right now. To have to go, like, 400 kilometers? Like, how fast you could go, like, 100 kilometers and, like, okay. Oh, shit. Get out. No! Yeah, he's got a little... Okay. You're at 400, and it's 45 seconds. A little drift on him. Okay, so in about eight seconds, we'll say. We'll say nine seconds just to be safe. You went 100 kilometers. <laughs> I want to say near impossible. <laughs> but we're not penguins, so we don't know their untapped potential. Yeah, I, I don't know if penguins have been studied long enough to research their maximum land speed record. We know they can't fly. When, maybe okay. they can run really fast. So maybe... Maybe when scientists aren't around, they're like, shit, guys, we're just going to run as fast as possible. They'll never know our secret Maybe powers. that's where they got the idea for Sonic the Hedgehog. You never know. Like, What's that? Penguinopolis? Oh, he did a little... He, he's he like, struck oh! a pose. He struck a pose. He should have dabbed. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. You penguin this up. Um, I, I got the name of the land in Penguintopia. Maybe penguins are communist. You think? You think penguins would be communist? They all share the fish. Do they though? I've seen some pretty gnarly movie like videos on penguins are d bags. Right. So no, I don't think they like to share things. Oh, when you're falling in the chasm, if you tap the A button, you climb out of the chasm right, faster. Yeah. Um, but yeah, penguins are not, I like, I saw a video recently, like, penguin, like, beat the other penguin to death with, like, so, one penguin came home and caught his penguin yeah, wife I cheating saw on him, which I didn't know, like, penguins were like, what the hell did I just catch you doing? Penguins so, are a front to marriage. And then, and then the penguin wife was like, I told you I've wanted a divorce for a really long time, and you just wouldn't get one. And then, like, he no! fought... He fought to the death, wow. like, the other penguin guy. And, yeah, I saw like, that. they were all bloody, and it was insane. Well, not what I was expecting, but... Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. It's a pretty good game. It was pretty good. I, mean, I enjoyed it. And, I mean, it's just cute. Yeah, look at... I mean, look at and his look little... look at his little wiggle butt. Look at his little penguin ass. A little wiggle in his little... And that smug is hell seal. Yeah, that seal's like, I'm it is gonna stop smug. you. You know what? This game made me like penguins more and hate seals. I agree. I agree. So I think that about does it for uh, this episode of Time Hop, Scott. I, th I think it was, a, it was a success. We laughed. We cried. We ran as penguins. Yeah, we uh, shot some deer. Yeah, fished some, some fish. Fuji Yakus. Um, I, I feel like I don't need to go outside for a while. It's true. I think I've gotten my fill of the outdoors um, from our experience. Though I'm, I'm intrigued by the penguins in the Antarctic. Yeah, I might have to make a trip to Antarctica to yeah. see if that actually happens. Because I feel like that game could be based on a true story. I do too. I feel like uh, Cameron should make a movie of it. Yeah, like Avatar 3, Penguin Racing Antarctica. Exactly. Exactly like that. Cool. <laughs> well... Uh, that does it. That does it for another episode of Time Hops. This has been host number one, Scott. This has been alternate host, Greg. 
See you all next week for another episode of Time Hops. Remember, subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave us a comment below. We are taking requests for uh, themes. Yeah. So, yeah. So feel free if you want to put us through some crazy stuff. Give us or a like. Or you us want to recommend some lovely beers for us to drink. Yeah. So give us a like. Give us a sub. We'll see you next week. Hi, this is Scott from Dashing Nerds. Along with Greg. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Dashing Nerds. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitch. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Dashing Nerds. Beedly ding ding ding.